Hi guys, welcome back to Home in Alabama. Today I am making some pepper cages. In my previous videos, you may have seen the tomato cages that I made. I'm going to make pepper cages just like those ones, only on a smaller scale. The way that I grow my peppers um, I like them to be short and bushy and I want to cover them every year so I can keep the plant going through the years. So I'm going to make a, the tomato cages basically on a smaller scale. So let's take a walk over to the garden and I will show you the one that I already made and then we'll walk through how I made it. You can see over there those are the tomato cages. I'm going to show you the tomato or the pepper cage that I made today and then the one that I attempted to make but I totally messed it up so it was trial by error with these ones because I was using a different type of wood so first let me show you these tomato cages so these tomato cages are made by two by two by eights so um they're pretty sturdy uh these parts of them are 16 inches this is 16 inches and then these i believe are i want to say five inches and then it's an inch or five feet and then it's a foot into the ground the price of these two by two by eights were just over two dollars in january when i made these ones and I have since went back recently within the last week and found out that they're almost $4, <laughs> uh, two by two by eight. So I decided instead to use tomato steaks that I got from my local garden center. And they come in six foot lengths. They have a point on the end already, so it makes it easy to drive it into the ground and they were only 150 a piece. So my first attempt at this, because the wood is so thin, I thought I would use nails and not screws, but it started to split the wood. And then um, this one I made a little bit higher and I decided I didn't want it to be quite as high. But then uh, <laughs> I went to put it into the ground and as I, use my mallet to push it in, it was just pulling this apart. So this is really where I messed up. So what I did with the next one that I made, I made it shorter to be the height that I actually want it to be. And then um, I moved the first top row down just enough so I could hit it with the mallet to get it into the ground without any problems. So I also use staples instead of using nails or screws so the wood didn't split. So let's go back over to the picnic table and I'll show you how I did it. So the things that you'll need to make it is a tape measure, a pen, a mallet, You'll need a saw of some sort. You could use a chop saw or any other type of saw that you wanted to use. I just used this and I hand sawed it because to me pulling out the machines is just too much work. And then you'll also need a staple gun and your tomato steak. And these are the tomato steaks that I got. So these tomato steaks come in six foot lengths and I need four of them to do the project. So what I did was I measured out 40 inches for the height that I want the tomato cage to be. And then I have four sections that are eight inches. And I'll basically zip tie all of my stakes together and I'll cut them all at once. So you can see I have all the pieces marked and zip tied together. I'm going to make four cuts
have our 36 inch base and our 8 inch crossbars and I'm just going to set this up to the way that we would be uh, to the way that we would be using it or the way I'm going to set it up to staple it. take a piece and place it up here and make sure it's plush and then I'm going to put the second piece behind it make sure they're plush and I'm only going to staple the second piece in and then I'll do that for this side as well make sure they're plush I'm going to use one of them as a guide to know how far down my next piece will be and I'll just continue this all the way down or for each crossbar. And by doing it that way, um, I'm not having to measure each section and make marks and all that fun stuff and it will all end up level in the end. I have my two I have the two base pieces and what I'm gonna do now is just take my 8 inch crossbar and staple it on here
right, so now that I have these three on, I'm just gonna take this piece here. I'm gonna go this way. And attach it on this. To make sure it's nice and flush. wood is slightly curved so I'm just gonna push that this way before I stay and when I staple these I'm putting three in this side so you can see two are in this area and then one is going down this far here so now I just need to take my last three pieces and put them across here, across the top here. There we have it put together. We'll go into the garden and get it in the ground. So for the first part of putting this in, I'm going to use the drill. You can see my pepper plant's not real happy right now. I'm gonna get her some more water. The heat is really killing them. So I'm just gonna spread this apart. I'm gonna. So I'm just going to set this in here and make marks. And I'm not worried about roots because my pepper plant is pretty well small enough that I'm not going to cut into any roots. So I'm just gonna start the holes. Now 
and then I will put this in. And then I'm just going to use my mallet to push it. And there we go. I think it's in deep enough and it's pretty sturdy. So I'm just going to put this all back. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video and you'd like to see more of them, please give it the thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. Thanks guys.